right guys, this is Nate coming at you from Motivate Labs Kansas Division with the next episode of Speed Bump. I was uh, checking out Craigslist yesterday and found a 1967 King Midget, which I'd never heard of. It's a, a micro car. I sent this King Midget Craigslist ad to our uh, group chat. Brandon said he wanted it. So I'm gonna go buy it. You ready to go, boy? This is the barn where we found this midget. There we go. Beware pickpockets and loose women. America's favorite micro car. Brandon, I hope you like it. Hey guys, so Brandon bought a new car. It's about 500 miles away and it's at our buddy Nate's up in Kansas. And the car is small enough that it fits on this little baby trailer that we used for the golf cart. What did you buy? What is this car? Well, there's a, it's a call a King Midget, 1967 this thing was made. Okay. Did you know this kind of car existed before this? I did this? not, I had never heard of it. Yeah, neither have I, so, all right. Let's get your little trailer ready. You don't have a one-inch extension. So Brandon wanted to disassemble my trailer to put it in the back of his truck <laughs> instead of towing it like a trailer's meant for. Why is that? You. Why is that? Yeah, why didn't you want to just tow it the whole way? Because we have to go like 500 miles and why drag the little thing? You won't even know it's behind you. you Y'all ever want to know who doesn't do actual work? You look for the guy with the felt in the back of his truck like this. Keep it all nice and pretty. That's how you can tell. You a supervisor at work? Yeah. Yeah, what do you supervise? Nothing. That's how you can tell, nothing. without taking this apart anymore. <laughs> you cut the axle in half and re-weld it. That's it. That's it. Trailer in a bed. Trailer in a bed of a truck. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's Friday. It is road trip day. Got uh, JT going with us, Ricky going. We'll have uh, Pitts coming. We haven't seen Pitts in a while, so this is gonna be fun. All right, so the boys are gonna hop in the truck. They're gonna drive all the way up to Kansas to Nate's house and hopefully test drive this little car around because the guy Brandon bought it from said that it runs. What city are we in? Paul's Valley. Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. We are Got me a triple cheeseburger, no bun, no vegetables, add chili from Brahms. Pretty good. I got pits. What pits get to eat? What? Oh, I got what the, the uh, three, four cheese? Three cheese. Three cheese. With bacon. That stopper, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I guess we need to it. JT lost. Our not. toll ticket. Yeah, well, like it's, on me? it's too easy to blame me. Regardless of whose fault it is, it's yours. Use your straw. There is. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. It wasn't JT. I apologize officially. Yeah. It wasn't JT, but I, I don't really apologize. We, we thought we lost that. What happens if we lost it? We parked back there and spent like five minutes looking for it. <laughs> you have a good one. Appreciate yes, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Our buddy Nate just messaged us and he's like, hey, when you get here, take this driveway in my yard and not the other one because it's more friendly with the tire, with, the, with the trailer. And so that made us think, Nate doesn't realize we put the trailer in the bed of the truck. So when we show up at Nate's, 
We're gonna pretend we lost the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're in Kansas. We're gonna take the chains off the trailer, and we're gonna hang them on the receiver hitch. The sockets are right here. The socket set is like right here. This is very uncomfortable though. So we're fixing to cut the end off the little deal here. Right? This is how we decided to do it, Ricky. Sorry, cop. There we go. <laughs> Gorgeous. That is fantastic. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm just gonna drag. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll get like two or three miles away from Nate's house, <laughs> and we'll we'll put this stuff on, and then we'll just pull up at his house and don't say anything and let him bring it up. <laughs> Nate, what's we're here, on? man. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? What's going on, Pitts? Hey, How are you yeah. doing, man? Yeah, yeah. Are you all supposed to have a trailer and you don't? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Did, did you? Don't look at me. You, that's Kyle's trailer. <laughs> oh, the whole receiver hitch is gone. God damn. What did, the uh, heck? No way. Somebody forget to put the cotter pin in the thing. <laughs> How come. are we gonna explain this to Kyle? Do we need to like report this? Nah. Let's replace it with a new one. He don't care. Yeah. No. I'm Got saying, but we need to like call the fucking state and be like, hey, we lost our trailer. <laughs> nah. So the guys let Nate think that they lost a trailer for about 10 minutes, and then they finally told him to go look in the bed of Brandon's truck. <laughs> All right, Ricky and I is out here at Nate's. Um, we figured out, we, I think Nate buries people here. See, so yeah, I see he's got some fences blocking for his neighbors can't see him. They're like strategically placed. Kansas, Saturday. So next morning, we're gonna get the trailer unloaded. We're gonna get the King Midget out. We're gonna drive it around. We definitely need um, to see its top speed. All right, so in the oh, Nate yeah. shop, this thing is gorgeous. This thing is absolutely glorious. So we want to take this thing for a test drive. We want to see its top mile per hour. So now we're going to give you our top speed guesses. Nate, what's your guess? 12 miles an hour. Ooh, I already had mine. Ooh. What's your guess? 20. He guesses 20. JT! 10. Mine was 13. 30. Oh. All right, here's Ricky. We got JT. They're gonna go on a maiden voyage. They're gonna try to do a top speed run. Hey, Y'all ready? The first thing you do is adjust your mirrors, so I'm working on that. Is it holding adjustment pretty good? Yeah, I think that's where it should be. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. All right. Oh, that knee brake's still on. Oh, there you go. Yeehaw! Hey, you got the GPS! What is that? Oh, it's 18! Oh, I hope it's a car not coming. Oh, yeah, I got... E that was e-brake on. Just, just so you know, that was e-brake on. That was fully brake. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of an uphill. All right, we'll get there. It's stuck in high gear. Man. Oh, this is good downhill though. Oh, that's 20. We'll find out. Took us a minute and 10 to get up that hill. <laughs> Can we make it back up the hill? Um, I guess I can push if not. Oh, I'm gonna hit a mailbox. I don't think, nah, I just, oh. oh. Go, 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 oh. Oh, we're getting up the hill.
thing is wound down, y'all. <laughs> Yes! It's f***ing glorious! <laughs> oh, floor, floor! Yes! What's the official number? We don't know yet, but it's warm. How'd she handle it? We haven't looked. Oh, she terrible. Eat over at red 40. Uh, what was it? I can't remember how to use this app. I don't think it was 40. What, 39 or 40 is what the Speedo read. Dude, y'all were cooking. Y'all were cooking. Average speed 13.27. Max speed 37. 37 knots. Knot. 37 knots. Knots? Why'd you have it in knots? What's I that didn't. calculate to MPH? What's that in MPH? Uh, 42. 42 miles an hour. 42 miles an hour. 3.2. That's a nice hitchhiker's guide number right there. 42. And you were thinking, well, yo, who said, you said what, 10? I said 12. 12? You said 20. I thought I was I said 13. 13? 10. 10. Pitch one. 30, bitches! Oh, you said 30. I said 30. You said 30. Yeah. I Nate, we cannot thank you enough for making this happen for us. It was worth the trip up here just to hang out with you for a little yeah. while. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. happy to have you all anytime. Yeah. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do here, the guys are gonna head back to Texas and meet me since I didn't get to go on the trip. And I'm gonna give you guys a close up tour of the King Midget. All right, guys, I'm back with y'all now because I didn't get to go on the road trip. I had to stay here and work on the boats. So this is gonna be my first time to see the King Midget. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> no brakes? <laughs> I just want to hear about the car a little bit, what you know about it. So the manufacturer claims 90 miles per gallon when it was built. Not Wait, 90 miles per gallon? Uh-huh. There's no way. Car. It only makes it's 10 It's a horse. lawnmower engine. Exactly. You're floored the entire time. This is max efficiency. This right here is a Kohler, 10 horsepower. Okay. Electric start. It's got a muffler under the bonnet. Okay. It's got some heat. Yeah. Insulation like from a house. The whole yeah. back is vented because it's air cooled and the muffler exhaust okay. comes out there. <clears throat> it has a centrifugal clutch on it like like your little go-kart in the backyard. Okay. Except it takes two belts. Except we like to drive really fast and we done wore one of them out. How does that work? That's second How does gear. It pick which belt? That's second gear and the and the transmission back there picks what pulley. It's what, driven off of. Low speed has a sprag. What transmission? This that, is the, that's transmission the transmission right, right there. there. What? Two forward gears, a reverse, and a neutral. And it's a chain drive? Chain drive over to the single wheel. Where are your lug nuts? All right, so let's talk about this, all right. So <laughs> this right here, folks, this is like genius for its day as far as I'm concerned. Why? So the rim does the drive and the brakes. And the wheel bearing. And the wheel bearing all in one component instead of three separate components. Okay. And uh, except if you go to change your tire, if the wheel bearings, yeah, you gotta do the wheel bearings. Oh, okay, but how often in the brakes? So it gives you a chance to check everything, yeah. Flash all 999 blinker, flash all. Our Lady of the Highway, pray for us. Our Lady of the Highway, pray for us. Is that factory, JT? I have no idea. What is, what is that all about? St. Christopher. Oh, St. Christopher, protect us. I'm guessing that's not factory. 
I think they put that on there because this is a little death, death trap. Machine. Yeah. Made in oh, Ohio. I don't, I, I, it, it fell over. Okay, we need to know, are you happy with your purchase? I am ecstatic about this purchase. What's your plans with it now? All right, so I've got, I've got a couple ideas here. I'm kick, kind of kicking things around. Okay. Um, we watched this YouTube video. This fella, he put a supercharger okay. on one of the Predator 22 horse power engines from Harbor Freight. I was dead set that that's what I wanted to do. And um, then I was like, man, then we got a 22 horsepower engine that's making 70 horsepower. And how long is that gonna live? And we got talking about what if we put a Harley Davidson engine in the back of it that makes 68 or 63 horsepower, however many. Stock. Yep. From the factory. So it's designed to make that kind of power. So it's gonna live at those power levels. Right. Um, so tentatively, that's the plan. We're gonna buy, I don't know anything about Harley engines, we're gonna buy not the little bitty one, like the, I think the, what, the 1200 CC? Is that the one we're <laughs> looking at? CC! Well, first of all, it's a Harley, so they don't measure it in CC. Well, here we go, all this right, educate me on so, Harleys, because I don't know anything it's about It's in cubic them. inches, man. So, so it's 1200 cubic inches, huh? Yes, no. 1200 yes. cubic inch. They're like, the small ones are like 86. And then there's like a 96 and then like, like a, a 120 or something. Well, I don't know. Well, that one's gonna be some money. Anyhow. That's aftermarket. I don't know jack about Harley engines, but I know they have one that makes like 60 something <laughs> horsepower. Okay, good. And that's what I want in the back of this thing. If you folks, any of you guys know anything about Harley engines could educate me a little bit. I know literally nothing about them, but that's what I want to throw in this thing. I know I want to get some cams in it. Do they have more than one cam? I don't even know. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned to see what we do to this thing and appreciate y'all watching and keep it between the ditches.